Okay. I'm going to move on there. Okay. Are you are you ready? So hi, I'm Janneke. I recently finished my dissertation about the reuse of non-conformist chapels in Wales and Lutheran churches in Estonia. And during my research, I came across some rather weird examples of how previous houses of worship are used now. So first of all, obviously, we have the chapels that are still used as actual chapels, like this one, and the English Baptist Chapel in Aberystwyth. This is a particularly successful one. The congregation is about 100 strong, provided the university students are there for about the nine months of the year. And they managed to raise up to £60,000 a year, which covered all the maintenance costs and the Sunday morning tea most of the time. But unfortunately, all chapels aren't quite that lucky. Uh, for example, this one used to be a chapel stall, now it is a theatre. This is by far not the worst outcome. The theatre is still a community centre, draws people together. And this is a particularly good solution, I think. Uh, they have divided the uh, chapel into two by inserting a floor on a gallery level. So on the first floor, they have a very good concert hall, theatre hall, whatever you want to present in there. And on the ground floor, they actually have a uh, recording studio. They're still using original chapel features. Uh, the pews are very good for any sort of conferences, performances, whatever's happening. And, uh, yeah, but then not all examples are quite that good. Uh, this is the Academy, also in Aberystwyth. It is uh, the most favourite student pub and nightclub in town. <laughs> it has most of its original features, so it's clearly recognisable as a chapel. For example, the Ten Commandments on the left-hand side, uh, right-hand side in the back, the pulpit, where the uh, DJ plays the music at the <laughs> moment. Uh, the bar is uh, decorated with organ in the background. <laughs> And obviously there are pool tables and drinks all around. And this was particularly brought out in Covenants. No dancing, no drinking. And this is exactly what they do in the <laughs> And this is a rather early example. Uh, the old chapel was already sold to a car mechanic in the 1950s. It has retained its original facade, but the uh, use hasn't been the same ever since. And this shows how the sale actually went through. Usually chapels have also uh, other buildings around them that go together with the chapel, but in this case, like in many others, only the chapel building was sold. So it just stripped its original function. And today, it is a hardware store. So you can buy all sorts of electrical goods, DIY stuff from in there. And still the facade is there, I really ask, does it need to look like a chapel if it has absolutely nothing to do with chapels? And the interior, there's nothing retained. Actually, no, I think there's one beam that is still from the original first chapel. But this is what is sitting there now. I think that's just a shame. If you don't have a chapel, then don't leave the facade either. But in Estonia, uh, this building never actually was originally a church, but it's used as one now. Uh, from the 18th century. But when Estonia lost its independence uh, in the Second World War and became part of Soviet Russia, uh, then it was used as a gym. Even my father went wrestling there. But after Estonia regained its independence again in, the, in 1991, obviously Estonia decided, yes, we need another church again. And here we have a very good example, uh, the oldest church really in Estonia, one of the oldest from the 13th century, is now used very successfully as a museum, museum of ecclesi ecclesiastical stuff. But it was very heavily bombed in the Second World War, when Tallinn got hit. It was really a big uh, surprise that it was even restored, because in Soviet times we really didn't have churches and religion was shunned anyway. So it was very lucky it was restored. But it never got back its religious function. And here you can just see some of the few things that are uh, shown there at the moment. Like the death dance, for example, we're very proud of that particular one. And it's one of the best known uh, museums <coughs> in Northern Europe. And last but not least, this is another church that was built two years before the Second World War. 
And uh, right then it was uh, turned into a sports hall, again, like sports hall researchers would imagine. And uh, at the moment, there are plans to return it into a church, which it never was, with two spires, and is it really necessary to turn a building that was actually never properly used as a church into a church, because 